Good to see you guys. Yeah, 833 today, national record, personal best. How are yeah. you feeling? Good, I feel good. Yeah, that was a fun race. Why'd you get to come and not the rest of the Bowerman squad? Oh, uh, I am. Um, <laughs> it's still a bit early for us. Like, we usually take, like, Christmas a little bit easy. Like, Jerry will give us workouts, but they're not super crazy. And then we'll go to altitude and we don't run workouts for a week. So it's like, even like early February is still like, kind of early. So I missed out on like another week of like our cycle. We have like a 10 day cycle going right now. Um, so I knew it was like a bit, we've only done really like two to three specific 5K, 3K sessions. Um, so I don't know, it was just like a little bit early, but like I wanted to race people who are just my teammates. I think like when you race just your teammates and get in your head a little bit. Um, so, you know, I just made the case. I New Balance announced me before I had confirmed. So I was like, oh, okay, I guess Jerry, like I can't, I had to go now. <laughs> I give the people what they want. So. <laughs> yeah. So. Are there plans to race again this indoor season? Pardon? Are there more plans to race this indoor season? What's next? And that was the other thing. But we wanted to target a 5K, and that's next weekend at BU. So it was very much like it's on Friday, so it's kind of a quick turnaround. So some of the other girls are targeting that race. It's kind of hard to do like a 3K and a 5K back to back. So I'm just going to see how I feel coming off this. I'll be smart, make sure I don't overextend the body about whether or not I do that 5K or whether I pace. So, yeah, so that's kind of why no one else is here, but I'm here, so. Did you know that you would have that closing speed here in the last 200? Um, Obviously, like, first race of the season, who knows? Yeah, that's the thing. Like like I said, because we haven't done many specific sessions yet, it's like, Jerry's training is tough because you get really, really strong, but, like, it's not, you're not necessarily, like, slamming, like, really good interval sessions. So, um, I think within, I kind of panicked at the beginning of the race, but, um, by like a K to go, I was feeling good enough that I'm like, usually after by a K to go and a 3K, if you're at your limit, you're feeling a lot worse than I was feeling. So, um, but I didn't know how big the kick was going to be, so I tried to save it as much as too late as, late as possible. So, yeah. Are you considering World Indoors or any really bypass then? <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's like, you know, it's tough because it's kind of late and World Outdoors has been early, but I'll just see how like these the training goes. But I think this, I feel really good about this at the point where my, that my training is at right now. So, um, yeah, I think it'll be fun. And looking towards Eugene, like, do you think 15 will remain your focus? Or are you thinking about the final? Yeah, I'm like flirting with the idea of a 15 5K double. But I know if I did that, the rest of my season might be kaput. So um, I definitely want to keep focusing on building my 5K strength because I think that would be really good for my 15. And if the double worked out, then it will, it will work out. But yeah, 15 is definitely my primary focus. It's the first event, so I can double without sacrificing the 15. What's it been like having your sister now at practice every day? It's been fun, day? yeah, it's been fun. It's good to see her again. It's been a while since we've like, been living in the same place, so yeah, it's been good fun. You're gonna have more Canadians on the team than Americans soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, come on over. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun to have Andrew on the team as well. So yeah, it's, uh, it's been good to have him on the team. Yeah.